Drake May in New England, he's got the Josh Allen comparison. He's got a big arm. He's mobile. Um, it's refreshing for a team that has had a lot of average quarterbacks the last five, six years or so. I think that this is a move in the right direction. They have new uh, head coaching now. So it feels good. I think that he could be pretty solid, but they need to address his weapons around him, which they did in the draft to some extent. But will they pan out is, is the major question. Yeah, for me, it's like it doesn't really matter if they pan out because you still need two other good receivers, because I think. Even if you're one to one for two of the receivers you took in this draft, you still need a two, a three, and a four. And then also we're in a situation where Ramondre Stevenson had one of the best years of his career. He got hurt last year, so there's some question marks with Ramondre Stevenson. And no, Antonio Gibson is not the answer. And now we have Austin Hooper. I mean, how many teams has Austin Hooper played for at this point? I've lost count because you can't count them all on one hand. That's how often this guy's bounced around the league. And then you have the best version of Austin Hooper on your team, which is Hunter Henry. So you do have some weapons around him, but until you get that guy for him, it's going to be a struggle for the Patriots. And it probably will be similar to Josh Allen where struggles year one, struggles year two. Then once you realize, okay, we do need to go out there, get a Stephon Diggs, get an AJ Brown, then his career will take off. Because like for me, it's like you still have the ability to go out there and get a wide receiver where T Higgins is still asking for a trade. Um, they were in talks about trading for Debo Samuel. Let's see where that goes. It seems like the 49ers talked to Brandon Ayuk and they're like, Debo's getting a little bit old, has been a little banged up. So maybe Debo is going to be the guy on the way out the door because Brandon Ayuk is younger and faster at this point. So they think going forward, that's the best future for the 49ers. So if you can get like a Debo Samuel or T Higgins, or just wait for another one of these receivers to be unhappy, then I think it can work. But for the Patriots, it's like, I have no idea what to expect for this team because we have not seen the Patriots without Bill Belichick. in I don't know, two decades, two and a half decades. It's been not like 25 lifetime. years. And then also who was the last great quarterback? They didn't draft by accident. Drew Bledsoe? Yeah. Drew Bledsoe. Yeah, which was 30 years ago. Yeah. And so we haven't even seen this Patriots. We haven't seen the Patriots without Bill Belichick in our entire lifetime. Yeah. So there's so much uncertainty here. If the Patriots are smart, what they'll do is they'll run it with Jacoby Brissett for that first year. There's no rush for them to start him when no. you know you're not going to compete with the Jets, Dolphins, or Bills, even with all the Bills issues that they've had. You're not going to be competing. You'll easily be the worst team in that division, and it's a long-term rebuild. So don't play him the first year. Second year, see what you have with him. Let him go through the growing pains, and then get him an actual wide receiver. They say that uh, the 49ers, the current report is either Debo or Brandon Ayuk will most likely be gone by 2025. So go after one of these guys. If I had my choice, I would go with Brandon Ayuk just because of the health. Debo Samuel is great, but how much wear is on his tires at this point? Yeah. Um, but get one of these guys. Maybe it's T. Higgins. Maybe you sign somebody in free agency, get some weapons around him. And then when it comes time for him to actually play, you have the weapons around him so that he can succeed. Just like you'll see with Caleb Williams, just like you'll see with J.J. McCarthy and these other guys. Yeah. And then you just said something, too, that will never happen. Sign somebody in free agency because there is a tax for sucking that the Patriots are not willing to play. And the rule is, hey, your franchise sucks. Your weather sucks. The people, I mean, 50-50, whether or not you like people from New England, but they can suck. The drivers there suck. It's not the best food in the world. It's kind of a weird mix of like a college city, and then everyone else thinks the town is the greatest movie ever made. So at this, And then the Patriots just aren't willing to pay that extra luxury tax tax for sucking so it's either trade for a guy or draft a guy and you're bad at drafting receivers at least under belichick we don't know this new regime but you're not going to sign one and bill robert Kraft is clearly has been a problem under belichick not being willing to pay and it seems like part of belichick's like okay get rid of a guy early here was to make robert Kraft happy